Hi everyone, CyberD here, and we're back for part two of Let's Play Broken Sword, the director's cut. Um, so here's Nico, and she is at the... The Concierge. Conciergerie. Former royal palace, prison, and law courts, and also home to the busiest guillotine in the French Revolution. Now why does she say guillotine? Wouldn't it be guillotine? Uh, my French isn't perfect, but that's what I thought. An old boyfriend of mine owned a barge once. Dumpest relationship I ever had. In every way. Ooh, I have no idea what that means. Apparently her boyfriend was damp. Her ex-boyfriend. This fence was a permanent fixture. Hmm. Urgh, Hulk, Nico. The fence wouldn't move. Hmm. It was the old boathouse for the conciergerie. If I was right about the meaning of subjudice, then the answer had to lie somewhere here on the quayside. Wow, all these fancy words. Conciergerie. Subjudice. Quayside. This fence was a permanent fixture. Ooh. Aww. This fence wouldn't move either. Look how beautiful Paris is in the fall. And it's just pixels, too. <laughs> <laughs> the cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. It was embroidered on the lace cloth I'd picked up at Carchon's apartment. I knew I was on the right track. We're on the right track. Um, see? It matches. Yay. All right. Puzzle time. I tried pushing the fence, but it wouldn't move. Ah. A strange pair of locks stopped the latches from releasing the gate. Alright, so... <laughs> this is my third attempt of making this video because it took me so long to do. And I hope I remember what to do. I probably don't, and I'm gonna mess up again. But, whatever. Okay, so we want to move these down. We want to move this across and move this over, I believe. I hope. And then move this over. Oh no, that's not what we want to do. Okay. We want to move... I take that back. Oh wait. Is that what we want to do? Oh yeah, we want to move this over so that we can move this over yeah yes. one down one to go <laughs> yeah that was that was confusing but not as confusing as this one this one is actually a lot worse um we only need to move these two but actually we have to move these ones over so we can move these ones over so we can move this one down for some reason and we want to move this one up I think yeah I think and then this one over and this one over so that we can move this one up yeah ah Something like that. <laughs> Nothing like a good convent education. You have no idea how happy I am that the puzzle took me so long. <laughs> and I figured it out. And it didn't take me forever. For a room full of junk, that was one very sophisticated lock system. This place was definitely fishy. In more ways than one. Hmm. It was almost as if the fence was intended to double as a bridge. Almost. I really didn't want to pull the fence back up and risk trapping myself in this place. Good idea. All right, let's check this out. Very... The skiff hadn't been touched for years. I've got an exercise bike just like that. <laughs> All right, push it over. Oops, 
Oops. <laughs> I'd wreck this skiff. Not that it was particularly seaworthy anyway. <laughs> Moving the skiff would only damage it more. Ooh. It was an old shell case, probably from the 50s. I knew what I was talking about. I grew up watching war movies. <laughs> All right, let's take the shell case. An old shell case. I wondered what that was doing there. Hmm. I wonder if they ever... The brass case was smooth and perfectly round. Explain it. Apparently there was a gunfight here, but... I don't know. Hmm. So, a stone door. There had to be a mechanism to open it. No handle. Nothing obvious, but there had to be a way to open it. Aha! A rough hole was cut into the pillar. The words Sinister and Dexter were carved on either side. Now any good convent girl like me knows the old Roman for left, right, left, right. But what did it mean here? Hmm... The hole was too small even for my little hand. <laughs> Because the hole's not for your hand, my dear. Nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. All right. Well, um, looks like we need to find something shaft-like to put in the hole. Aha! I mean, cylindrical shaped. Mystery solved. Carchon's stone cylinder slotted into the hole <laughs> with a satisfying click. Uh, I don't know why this sounds so dirty. A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. It felt like tumblers in a safe. Hmm. I must have made a mistake. The mechanism reset. Okay, so that didn't work. But if we look, Sinister and Dexter, S and D, where have we seen that before? Rolling out the painted cylinder had given me a print of a secret message. It read... Subjudice. Below it was a sequence of letters. S D S S D S S. Okay, so it's as simple as following those instructions. A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. It felt like tumblers in a safe. Ooh. Another click. Another step closer. This is way easy. On the Wii version, it's hell. <laughs> because it's so tricky. <laughs> I love the sound of locks clicking open. Yes, the Wii version is awful for that puzzle. I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> I removed the stone cylinder. Yes! Let's go in. Ooh. Um, okay. The cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. Oh my god! The slab came down with a hell of a force. Okay, so, uh, this familiar cross seems to be a recurring theme, and the hole opened. Another hole. With nothing to hold it up, the cross dropped back down again. If I was going to get a closer look at the panel, I'd have to find a way of keeping the cross up. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see if we... Lifting the cross closed... Okay, let's see if we have anything. Um... The elephant? No. The shell case? Aha! The stone cross was propped up. Now I was getting somewhere. Cool. Okay. Um. Uh, let's look at the hole. <laughs> Another. A round slot, precisely carved into the stonework. Another recurring theme. I touched the slot. Nothing bad happened, which was good. 
I've always been attached to my fingers. <laughs> this slot was designed for something specific. But what? Huh. Could it be the cylinder? The artifact slotted into the hole perfectly. Behind the old walls, I could hear some kind of mechanism groaning into life. But whatever had been triggered had now jammed. So if you hadn't noticed, this wall was lowered and it raised a little slightly. A hidden door. This was getting interesting. Shame the mechanism jammed. I was going to have to find a way to prise it open. Shame. Shame. The gap was too thin for me to get a grip. I needed something thin enough to prise the door open. Jeez, Nico, get a grip. Um, all right, so we need to find a prize to prize it open. Um. I was going to need something a lot stronger than a hair clip to free the door. Aww. What about this doohickey? I removed the shell case. The cross didn't drop back down. Some kind of mechanism was holding it up. Aha! Uh, the gap was too narrow. I needed something flatter to work into it. Aww. Well, that is actually a clue to the... If you weren't... If you didn't figure that out. Um... We have to flatten the shell case. It took me forever to figure that out. Oh. Um. Oh yeah. Yes! One flattened shell case, as ordered. The stone slab had flattened one end of the shell case. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Ut lex vel ut nex sumitu. To the law or unto death, submit. I guess these people didn't believe in liberté, égalité, or fraternity. Yes, I'll admit it. I was a SWAT at school. I also wore lipstick and the nuns never knew. So remember that. Uh, liberté, égalité, and fraternité. Hmm. Let's see if it comes into importance later. Well, not really important, but something I've noticed. Um... Come on. Aha! All right. Let's do this. We got it. We got it. Oh, see it moved. So many steps. I removed the shell case. Mm, could this work? Yay! Another good use for a shell case. Another secret room. Somebody had something to hide. But was it what I was looking for? Hmm. All right. Ooh, what was that? That blinky light. Wow. Through the darkness, I could see that this was a stateroom. But for what purpose? And how did it tie in with Carchon? Hmm. Okay. Can't see anything. Except blinky light. And blue blinky light. Amazing! The thing still worked. The room lit up bright as day. Huh. 
It was an old circuit breaker, like something from a Frankenstein movie. Hmm. It's alive. <laughs> okay. Lady Justice stared out from a stone door, which was locked and reinforced with steel bands. Hmm. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. Hmm. A slot next to the safe door. All I had to do was find something to fit into it. It was like being back in kindergarten. All I needed now was a shape that would fit the slot. <laughs> something round and cylindrical. Hmm. Aww. That wasn't going to help. Well, the cylinder was back there, so... Hmm. The desks were covered with a layer of dust. No one had worked here for years. Hmm. I wasn't going to find anything in this old desk. It hadn't been used for years. Hmm. Ooh. The flags had faded. But their message was still pretty clear. Cross Nina's fascist regalia, a message of hate. Ooh, fascist crosses. Ooh, what's this? It was pretty clear from the lack of dust that someone had been working very recently at this desk. Ooh, creepy. Better hurry before they come back. The dregs at the bottom of the mug hadn't dried out or gone moldy. It wasn't more than a day old. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. The sheet was a printout with my personal information. Everything from my favorite food to my waist size. They were right about chocolate. But come on, guys. I'm a size. <laughs> there was even a picture of me taken with a telephoto lens. Carchon wouldn't have taken these pictures himself. This was big and organized. I was part of it. And people were getting murdered. Ooh. This was the article I'd written about the costume killer. My suspicions were right. Carchon had cut it out. Two businessmen had been killed. One in Italy, one in Japan. In each case, the killer had worn a costume. A penguin? And then a snowman. But that wasn't the only link between the two murders. Both the victims had been big media do-gooders. And I proved they were just the opposite. So, how did they fit in with Carchon? Hmm. So a French man was murdered and a Japanese businessman. And um, okay. <laughs> it was a draw. I wondered what was inside. Oh. Inside the drawer, I found a note written in some kind of code. Hmm. Look. Don't you just hate it when that happens? The drawer had come out easily enough, but wouldn't fit back into place. What? Ooh, what's inside? A photo, long lost, had fallen down the back of the drawer. It was very old, but there was no mistaking the guy in the foreground. Carchon. Behind him were soldiers, a burning village, and a corpse. The photograph was cropped on the right-hand side. Somebody else in the picture obviously didn't want to be in it anymore. I wasn't surprised. This was Africa in the 60s. An uprising was being brutally suppressed. And here was Mr. Media himself. Carchon, doing the suppressing. The photograph was not just powerful evidence. It was also my ticket to one explosive story. Hmm. Explosive. The photograph showed Carchon smiling happily to camera with a background of burning huts and death. Uh. Aha, a 
crypto quip puzzle. Yes. All right. Um, I love these things. So uh, <laughs> I'm so glad they put this in the game in the director's cut. But anyway, let's start with this one because it's by itself. It could either be A or I. And it's probably not I because I would be like at the beginning of a sentence. So it's probably A. Um, so we put A and it's this one. Aha! Um, okay, so there are two words with A that start with A. So it's probably and or are. Um, I'm gonna guess that, wait, R, think and R. So, we're gonna have to test them out. Um, so let's pretend this is and. And if we're wrong, we can always switch it. And this is D. All right. Aha. Okay, so, we have a word almost done here. Drad. Dode. <laughs> Delad. Oh, it's dead. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so it's dead. Um. Undead? No, in indeed. Indeed. Um. Sage, ace, ace in danger. Okay, so uh, this is probably danger. Danger, danger. Will Robinson. Um, R, R. Uh, here we go. Danger. R in danger. Blank. Great. That must be great. Unless it's Greel. Take great care? Hmm. It's all coming together. Um, where is it? Ha. So this must be Pierre, because I don't know of any other word that ends in ER. Tier? Whatever. No. Pierre. Blank. Report. Report. To blank. Blank, blank. Is. 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 Is too urgent. Urgent to wait. Wait. Arno and something. Something dead. This, this. Wait, what? This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems. Um, that blank, blank, us who came together in blank are in danger, take great care. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is a double letter. So, ab, af, adj, all, all, probably all. Pull, no, pull, P is taken. Full, full report to follow, but this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada. Popular Japanese name, both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. V, X, Z. No. Z, Q, X. How did she know it was X? 
full report to follow. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. X. Who is X? I wasn't the only one to make the connection between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? I had enough for a story. An amazing story that was going to make my reputation and blow Conchance to pieces. I needed to get home fast and start typing. Ooh. Bonsoir, Coulard. Nico, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, you cracked open the champagne yet? Are you crazy? What's wrong? Wait a minute. You didn't print it, did you? Of course I didn't print. That's the best piece I've written. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's important. It's suicidal. You can't destroy a national hero. He deserved it. His corpse isn't even cold. Ronnie. Two hours ago, I told you what I'd found. You loved it. You begged me to write it up immediately. Two hours is a long time in newspapers, Nico. Someone's got to you, haven't they? Listen up, Nicole, and listen good. Pierre Carchant had a lot of friends, powerful friends. For your own sake. Forget what happened. You got it. End of conversation. Good night. Hmm. This should have been my big break. But I knew there was nowhere else to sell this story. If Ronnie wouldn't print it, nobody would. Aww. Hmm. Who could it be? Bonsoir, Cola. Mademoiselle Cola. My name is Plantar. <gasps> I need to talk to you about your story. Your Pierre Carchon story. How did you know about that? There are people out there, madame, who will be very upset by this story. Oh, really? Well, it's their lucky day. It's been spiked. Yes, I know. We must meet. We must? I have information relating to your costume killer stories. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Café de la Chandelle Verte, Rue Alain Cour. I shall be wearing a grey overcoat. You must talk to no one about this. You can't tell me what to... Tomorrow <sighs> at 8. I'll be waiting. Oh my goodness. It's Plantar. People complain about newspaper articles all the time, but not usually before they're printed. I was beginning to feel scared. This guy, Plantar, could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. So if you played the original, you would know what comes next.